what is up my YouTube family? Um, alright, I'm taking this piece that I was not happy with. I've had it for a few years. Way too much glitter and just, eh, don't like it. So I'm going to paint over it today. Um, what I'm using here is a base coat that I made just out of flow draw and paint. It's like, uh, let's see, 11 ounces of flow draw to about one and a half to two ounces of paint. Um, I made it this morning, which is why it has so many bubbles in it. All I'm doing here is kind of stretching it to the corners just to um, make it where it flows a little bit better whenever I spin it out later on. So basically once I get it all flowed out to the center or to the edges and such, and then I will get it or get started in this and show you a method that is really easy to do and looks really neat. I'm gonna definitely try it a few more times and see if I can get it better. So hopefully you can do it too. We almost got it all the way stretched out now. And then the rest will just go whenever I spin it later on. So you can see the importance of leaving your paint overnight whenever you're making uh, pillow paints. It just creates a nice little, you know, lot of bubbles. I did not realize that the overhead light was right on here so I apologize for that. That part's kind of annoying. I will move it next time so it's a little behind the camera instead of in front. But all I'm doing is taking a cell activator and I'm going to do a swipe. I haven't added any colors on this other than just the basic black background and you'll see here in a second that I just start doing swipes. It's a pretty thin mixture of cell activator, but it's basically just doing, doing a few different swipes across the canvas, wiping it off, loading it back up, and doing it again. colors out and now I'm going to add a little bit of actual colors to it just to make it where you can actually see the, the piece and whenever you swipe it it'll make it pretty neat so I'm just gonna add some some reds and oranges and yellows and a little bit of blues and purples and swipe them again try to give some more definition to it so I'll let you let you watch and see how it goes. And yeah. Catch up with you here in a minute.
the colors are on so now I'm taking more white cell activator and swiping again I'm making sure not to overlap my colors that I have so I do that on that one and as you can see on the top I didn't quite go deep enough on the swipe so I'm going to go a little bit deeper on all the rest of them just to make sure that the color goes all the way across the canvas um, this super super easy recipe the base was homemade all the colors are two parts flow trawl one part paint the cell activator is literally one part water one part um, Amsterdam titanium white um, a part could be an ounce it could be a tablespoon it could be a teaspoon it could be whatever you want it to be a cup even as long as it's equal parts um, it works out pretty good for me I've not had any issues with this but as you can see it is pretty thin so it may not work in your your particular method I've got lots of different cell activator recipes this is one that I have been using currently so I will shut up and just let you let you check it out and here in a bit we will um, go in for a flyby and show you up close Here's the piece up close. I want to thank JMO Arts for his shorts that gave me the inspiration of this. Hopefully you enjoy it and I will catch you next time. Have a great day.